Hi, I'm Dan. Uh, this is the Gringo Show. And as some of you guys know, I got my brand new 2022 Tesla Model X Long Range uh, yesterday, March 3rd. Um, been trying to figure it out. It's been interesting. I want to thank you for your comments. Uh, and again, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I will get on it as quickly as I can figure things out. Again, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I just, I've been watching YouTube videos for the last year and a half while I was waiting for my Model X. And uh, they really helped me, so I figure I can do the same thing. So, big shout out to Derek, uh, the Tesla inventory guys, Ryan Shaw, It's Ken Java, uh, Rich Rebuild, uh, Tesla owner's perspective. All of you guys, I really appreciate you and everything that you've done. Today, I'm going to be opening up this box of WeatherTech. Uh, WeatherTech floor mats, which uh, they're only for the front. I was looking for, for ones for the front and the back. I couldn't find, I, I want to say I couldn't find any brand names. Uh, most of them were sold out. Uh, I think it was Max Spider was sold out. Even our local Tesla uh, shop where I picked it up in Loveland, Colorado. Um, they were out, so I had gotten online, went to WeatherTech, I typed in the, the 2022 Tesla Model X long range, they came up and they said they had front passenger and front driver side, and I thought, well, okay, I might as well get those instead of nothing, because in Colorado, with the mud and the salt and the sand and the wet, I, I, I'm going to guess that these these floor mats that come with it, they're going to get pretty torn up. So we're going to open up these and uh, see if they fit, first of all. Um, and hopefully they'll do the job until I can get the regular ones from Tesla. So hang in there. I'll get these open. We'll get them put in. I'll try to get the camera angles right for you guys so you can see. See them going in. like the driver's side there. WeatherTech label on there. There could be driver's side, could be passenger side. Yeah, driver's side. Yeah, this is the passenger side. Again, WeatherTech. Um, take this one out. In there some velcro you can see these will get all torn up these will get all muddy they're, they're regular car mats got a little velcro on the back so they stick up in there I'll put this one off to the side okay. see the space I'm gonna be whacking it in there hopefully you guys can see that and uh, Get the camera back here, I guess. That might make it a little bit easier. Sorry for all the. <laughs> this is not what I do, but I'll get it in here. Okay, so fits in there pretty well. Yeah, gets in there pretty well. It fits in there, it's tight. That's not too bad. That'll keep the dirt and the rain off. All right, I'm gonna do the driver's side. I'll be right back. Okay, this one, driver's side, same thing. It's just fabric. This will get all messy really quick. I now have my hesitations about the driver's side, but we'll see. Oh, that actually gets in there pretty good. Pretty tight. Here, let me show you. Okay, so it's a little bit of a tight fit here in my garage, but I'm over here on the driver's side. 
and uh, yeah, WeatherTechs, they fit in there. I had my doubts, but uh, those fit in there really nice. This side and on the passenger side, they're really good. I mean, there's a little bow there, but I'm sure that might mold in, but yeah. Okay. I'm happy with these. Okay, so those are the Tesla mats. Again, they're regular car mats. And uh, that's driver's side, passenger side. I'm glad I got the weather techs in there. That's gonna save a lot of a lot of wear and tear on those. Okay, so that's the floor mats in. Um, they fit. I'm still looking to get, you know, ones for the back because that's where the kids are a lot. And it's, you know, we got rain and snow coming tomorrow. So if you know of any place, let me know. I'm gonna be checking out the Littleton Tesla uh, showroom or shop, see if they have anything. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Um, coming up, uh, I'm gonna be installing this ultra premium tempered glass screen protector because um, that is a beautiful screen in there. I got this from Abstract Ocean. Uh, I saw it installed on Derek's channel and uh, it went on really easy. So fingers crossed that's gonna work. Um, I also got some things. So I ordered some things when I initially, uh, when we initially ordered this vehicle. Like I got some of the ultra bright LED lights, uh, the blue Puddle, puddle lights, I think they're called. I also got, um, yeah, the blue. So I'm gonna try to put those in, uh, maybe this weekend. Um, might get my son, uh, Brandon Maxwell, to come over and help me with that. I am not the most technical car guy, so I'm afraid to touch this thing, break it apart. I don't wanna break it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, my thoughts about this car, after having it for a full 24 hours is it is absolutely amazing this is, has been the greatest day of driving i have ever had <laughs> and it is a it's a really good car and you know i, I haven't had a, a, a lot of new car. i've had a 2019 um dodge ram limited which was it's absolutely amazing it's still outside you know the 2018 jeep grand cherokee you know i've, I've had a few cars um, but this, this, yeah, it is just amazing. It is like, um, it is like a spaceship. Um, I, I had a friend of mine in here, Donovan, um, and he, you know, he's, he, he's like, this is like being in an airplane. It's, <laughs> I expect that we could fly. Uh, again, there was only a few things. Um, that are niggly little things that, you know, the seat, like I said in the last video, uh, the rear passenger side captain's chair, um, something's not working there. The motor's not working or something. So they're going to check that out. Um, there goes the door on the other side. Uh, the, um, the, the charge port, that door opens like randomly I'm not really sure what that's about um, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure that one out if you know or if you've had that problem let me know and uh, you, you can give me a solution uh, somebody asked about doing a video on the rear tail lights and the headlights I'm gonna get to that um, hopefully this weekend I'll get that done anything else that you want uh, let me know and I will try to do it thank you for your comments Thank you for the likes and the views. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. I just want to give back to the community because uh, it's been a good one. So thank you very much. Peace to everyone, and I'll see you next time.